everyone welcome back to my craft room if you're new to my craft room then welcome happy friday guys i have a dollar tree haul for you here today some of this stuff you're going to see that you probably saw when i did my walkthrough on tuesday some things i picked up tuesday um from the um plus section so i'll show you that too what i picked up so you get a nice close look at those but um yeah the only really food things not even food things picked up some drinks my husband wanted some of the Ocean Spray Cranberry Juice Cocktail, so we got one of these. Um, I don't know if I've seen this size bottle there before. I don't know. He looks through the grocery aisle more than I do. <laughs> so he wanted that. He'll probably take that to work with him. And then, of course, I grabbed another Diet Pepsi for when my daughter comes down. I always like to keep one of these in stock there for her. And like I always say, it's still much cheaper than my grocery store. So this is the 1.25 liter bottle and they used to be like I said they used to be cheaper at the grocery store when they were on sale but not anymore so anyway let me jump right in here to this plus section stuff I got these pillows they were five dollars I picked up two of these really pretty pastel colored Easter egg pillows these things are so nice and soft I picked some of these up at Christmas time I picked up what were they um, they were shaped like Christmas trees and after Christmas, I threw them in the washing machine and in the dryer, and I was kind of a little scared. I did it on the gentle cycle and the low heat um, in the dryer, and I was really scared to see what was going to happen, but they came out perfect, absolutely perfect, just pretty much the way they went in. They came out, except they were clean, <laughs> and they smell good. So I did. I picked up two of these for each end of my couch for Easter time, I thought that would be really cute out there. Let me put these over here because they're going to take up a lot of room. But yeah, they're really nice. I don't know if it has washing instructions on it. It's 100% polyester. Um, do they? No, I don't think they do. It just says not to iron, but I would <laughs> definitely not try to iron these, that's for sure. Uh, no, it really doesn't say. But I just threw it in the wash on gentle cycle. I use cool water. And then I just tossed them in the dryer on a low setting. And yeah, perfect, they came out. I was shocked. So those were $5 each. Now these were $3. This is the wood bead garland, uh, egg garland. And I thought these were so pretty. They had some other ones that were like, you know, more vibrant colored eggs. But I thought these were nice, these really muted colored speckled eggs. They have a pink and a peachy color and a yellow and a green. And then it has all these nice wood beads in there and it's six feet long, so I'm going to try to hang this across my fireplace. So I thought that would look really cute. So I got this plus section. It's killing me right now because they have so many cute things. Um, these were $5. I picked up another set. I love these. The ones I got for Christmas, I really, really like these oven mitts. Um, they're called mini mitts with silicone grips. Um, yeah, these are really nice. I used these to do all my cooking baking this year, and you can make a cute little puppet out of it if you wanted to. But it has like these nice like silicone spots on here so they don't slip on you, and they're really nice and thick. And these also, the Christmas ones that I had, washed up real well. Uh, it says these are heat resistant to 450 degrees, or five inches by five and a half inches by eight inches, and you get a set of two for five dollars. And yeah, they're so pretty. So that will be hanging out in my kitchen for Easter time. And I picked up this tiered tray. Now this is really cool. I haven't opened this up yet. Maybe we'll go ahead and do that. This was $5. It shows you right here what it will look like when you get it all set up and decorated. And um, I just noticed my hot dog machine gun is plugged in here from earlier today. Because I felt the heat from it when I went to show you that. Which is a good thing because I'll tell you why a lot of times I forget to plug this stupid thing. But anyway, this was five dollars. They had these in different colors. I picked up the blue. Um, let me try to rip this open here real quick. Uh, there we go. It's getting out of there. Let's see how this goes together here. Oh, look at that. It even comes with a little instruction manual here on the back. Um, they just open up and pretty much click together is what it's telling me here. Well, that'll be like easy peasy. I like easy peasy. Oh, look at that. Okay. So that just... Oh, I see. This goes in between here. Can you see that there? And then it has this little clip 
that goes around and pushes right in there and locks that one into place. Oh, these are pretty cool. I like that idea. And then this one's the same way here. If I can get it in there. There we go. And then are we in there the right way? Yeah, there we go. And then that clicks in there and locks that into place. Well, isn't that the cutest thing you ever saw? And that's actually much sturdier than I thought it was going to be once it was put together. You can see the little ears up there on the top. Yeah, so simple. And then after Easter, you could just fold that down and it'll store away flat, which is a big, big plus right there because, you know, all these cute things are real cute and all, but when it comes time to store them, here, we're going to stack them up with stuff. But yeah, it's a nice size. Does it say the size on here? 10.3 inches by 15.2 inches. So yeah, very, very nice. Love this. Would highly, highly recommend this little tiered tray. He is super cute. And now there's two more things I got from the plus section. I could not resist these bunnies. I'm not sure exactly what these are made out of. It's almost like a broom kind of thing or a raft. I don't even know. But look at the faces on these little guys. And look at the ears. Look how cute they are. This one's got a little, this little girl here has her little carrot. And that's all done in like raffia and styrofoam. Even the little bottoms of the feet are done. Just such attention to detail on these little guys. These were $5 each, but I'll tell you what. Oh, Sissel, there you go. Read the sign, Jody. <laughs> now you know. Um, these are 4 inches by 5.5 inches by 8.5 inches. I'm guessing that's top to ear or bottom to ear here. And it's got a cute little tail back here. But these guys are so darn cute. So I got the little girl and of course I had to have the little guy. Whoops, his glasses are crooked now. But he's got these cute little glasses. I gotta straighten them out. This one's a little bit. Let's see, can we bend them here without breaking them? Oh, that's a little better. I'll mess with them later. I don't want to break him on camera and feel dumb. <laughs> That's pretty good. But yeah, look at his cute little eyes. And he's holding an Easter egg. Same's got the same cute little tail. Oh, this one didn't have the white, did it? No, this was just a brown tail. And this one here has the a little more of a, a lighter, almost a white colored tail. A little bow tie. But ugh, I couldn't pass these up. These are going out in my display here in the living room for Easter time for sure. Me, I don't even know. I might even put this tear trade out in my living room and just, just put these guys on each side. I don't know. There's just so many cute things at Dollar Tree right now. So that's it. That's all I did pick up at, in the plus section, which was way more than usual. But like I said, some I did pick up on Tuesday. The pillows I picked up on Tuesday because I was afraid they would be gone because that's what happened the last time I saw the cute pillows and I only ended up with the trees. But anyhow, got these cute little guys. They're so, 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 so cute. All right. So then I did pick up another puzzle. So I picked one up at all these the other day for my husband. He loves to do these in the winter time. This is a 350 piece puzzle. That one looks like it would be a lot of fun to put together. Just something to do when it's snowing out and miserable and cold. So, you know, so I picked this one up for him to do too when he gets done with his other one out there. Um, he likes a thousand piece puzzles, but they didn't have anything like that at Dollar Tree. So we got that one. Take him at least a day or evening or whatever to do that one. And then I picked up this vase. This I thought was glass. It is not, it is plastic, which is wonderful. I think I may paint this and decorate this up for Easter to put some pretty Easter flowers in, maybe decoupage a pretty napkin or something on here, but I don't want to lose this pattern here. It's like a, I don't know, it's like a starburst looking pattern on there, if you can see that. Um, it's better without my hand there. But yeah, I thought they were glass. They are not, they are plastic, which is good. But yeah, it doesn't say the size on there, but it's a nice size, nice little size. And then I picked up this little candle holder. I thought this was very unique. Even do something else with it. You could even use that for a little trinket tray if you wanted to. But it is intended. It is a candle holder. But I thought that was real cool. Looks like a wood grain on the bottom. And then it has that little gold stripe in there. But I may just add use this to toss some little things into. 
maybe on my tiered tray. I don't know. <laughs> and then I picked up this set of beads because I'm always grabbing their beads when I see them there. And this is just called decor and it's just this little loop of beads. I mean, you could paint these different colors, you, whatever you want to do. You could make them Easter colors. You could make them Valentine's right now if you wanted Valentine colors, which would be really cute. We could probably put that on my little base there, not too big. <laughs> yeah, it's worth a try. But yeah, I thought that would be nice. Just, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to paint them up some colors. We'll see which I decide to use them for. I might hang them from my bunny ears. I don't know. You never know what I'm going to do. <laughs> now, I saw these guys a couple times, and I had to pick a couple of them up. And these are those little tin pigs. If you do, like, farmhouse decor of any kind, this... I think these guys are a must-have. I'm sorry. They are just so cute. Um, this little piggy here is pink and has like gold accents to it. It looks like it's hammered tin. Um, I thought that was really cool. It's even done on the back, which is unusual for Dollar Tree things. Usually they just do one side of things, but they're really stepping it up there. And uh, yeah, all the rest of the stuff here I'm showing now is all from the Dollar Twenty Five section. Um, and then I got this guy here. He's like a real pale, like a really light, light sky blue so I thought that one would be nice to do something with so I got two of the piggies I passed them up a couple weeks ago but I thought you know what I'm gonna get them we'll figure something out to do with the little piggies and I picked up these two signs here um can I slide them out of here without making a ton of noise because people are always yelling at me for the noise of this paper I know it's annoying but I'll try to do it as quick as I can because there's usually that one person that is really saying, oh my god, that was awful. But anyway, um, yeah, I try to take stuff out of the plastic because I know it is an, an awful sound, especially when it's crinkling in the microphone. But this one would be nice for Father's Day, too. It just says, warning, man cave, enter at your own risk. And it's all tin, and it's got the holes in there, so if you want to hang it, this one didn't come with any jute string or anything like that. you got to get your own. But they're a really nice size. Does it say on... My crinkling paper, what now? Let's see, let's measure these quick here. It's hard to tell on camera here. So we got 12 inches, 13, 14, it's about 17 inches long. And yeah, the smallest part here is about four and a quarter inches high. And then down here, the bottoms are six and a quarter inches. So it's a nice size. You could hang this on a door or wall wherever you want to so I got that one but that's cute, cute father's day little gift and then this one I got it just says coffee in this direction and I really don't even need an arrow to point me where my coffee is in the morning because man I gotta have my coffee as soon as I open my eyeballs and I get so mad if I forget the night before to push that automatic button so it comes on in the morning and I get up and there's no coffee it's like you feel like you're waiting an eternity. Anyhow, I got this sign. I love this sign. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this yet. I don't think I'm going to be hanging it like in my hallway anyway, pointing to the kitchen. But I thought it was pretty cool. So we'll figure out something for like that too. And then I picked up this cross. I thought this would be so pretty. I want to try and decoupage this. Decoupage. I can not say that word right to save my life. For um, Easter, I thought that would be real pretty. Did I get one that worked? Yes, I did. It's got a little candle in there that lights up. So that'll be real pretty. I wish they hadn't put it like right dead center there. It's like just glaring out of you out of the hole. But I, I didn't ask you anything, Siri. She's telling me what time it is. Um, <laughs> but isn't that pretty? So yeah, we're going to paint that up and decorate that somehow. I just thought that would be another pretty addition for Easter time. Have a nice pretty cross. So I got that and then I picked up some of the fabric. I got one with the bees, of course. I thought that was real pretty. I don't know if they had this exact pattern last year. It kind of looks a little different. I could be wrong. I grabbed so many of these different ones. I'm hoping it's a little bit different. But these are the fat quarters, the 18 by 21 inch um, cotton fabric. And then I got one that looks like a little honeycomb. Oops, hold still there. There we go. I thought that was real nice for some spring projects coming up soon, I hope, because, man, come on, spring. 
after Christmas is over, I mean, the Christmas and the snow and the magicalness with the lights is all wonderful. But then once that stuff's all put away, it's just like this dreaded humdrum rest of the winter. So I'm ready for spring decorating already. Can't help it. All right. So I did get a couple things in Crafter Square section. I picked up these little wooden stickers. Um, I thought those were real nice. I think I might have a set of these already. I'm not sure. I saw that I'm like, I can't remember. I thought I remember this, but I don't remember the little birdie and stuff. But anyway, if I did, then I have two sets, which is fine. And I picked up some of these stamps. I don't know if any of these are new. I looked at these and I'm standing there, but you know what? I honestly think I have this one with these flowers on them. These are the clear stamps that you use with your stamp pads for like cards or whatever. I think I have this one already, but that's okay. I will share this one with someone. Um, and then this one, I don't think I have this one with these big leaves and flowers on them. But if I do, I don't know. These just struck me as different from whatever else I have. And then I picked up a pack of these chalkboard stickers. You get 33 pieces in here of these little, like, little tags that you could write on. I thought those were real cute. I haven't seen these before, so I know I don't have these. <laughs> and then I thought this was real cute in the Valentine's section. It has, like, date night, fun, creative ideas to enjoy together, and it just has all kinds of things. Um, Try a fancy coffee, uh, sparks fly, reenact your first date. Oh no, I'm way too old for that. Me and my husband on our first date, he went out on his motorcycle. That's not happening anymore. <laughs> no, no, no. Not in my condition now. Um, but it was fun. So, yeah, no, so we're not going to do that. Oh, there's one here that says to go bowling. And there you go. That would be cool too. I can't do that anymore either, but that is actually how me and my husband met on a bowling league many, many years ago. But there's just all kinds of cute little things in here to do. Just something fun. You know, stick in a little basket with some candies or whatever for Valentine's Day. I thought that was a really cute idea. And then I did get another pack of these really long, um, what do they call them? Cable ties, zip ties, whatever. Uh, we use so many of these up at Christmas time that I'm just kind of trying to restock. Now these are really thick, big, heavy duty ones. These are 20 inch long. So yeah, these are the nice big ones and we did use quite a few of those. So I'm gonna put them back downstairs with a stockpile of things um, that we're trying to stock back up on for next Christmas. So I'm just gonna stick them in there so when it's time to decorate, we're not running all over the house looking for stuff. All right, so that is it for right now. I'm gonna go grab little P. I'll bring him in for his visit and I will be right back. All right, here comes the little brat. <laughs> you little brat, P. No, say not me. No way. Yeah, you are. Huh. You look crabby today. Say I'm sick of this cloudy weather, Mom. Yeah, let me turn it down. Oops, sorry, I don't mean to jerk you down there. Let's say hi to everybody. Say hello. I say I don't talk. <laughs> I have your peanut hidden over here. You don't know I have it today. He was out there eating stuff out of the bowl on the play stand. Would you like this? Oh, yeah. All right. He has just been so, so loud this week. So loud. Huh. He's only happy when he's sitting with somebody. Well, look at that. Do you want any of the peanut by any chance? Hmm? Any chance you want any of that? Yeah. All right. You're crazy boy. Crazy, crazy boy. I'm glad that makes you happy. Yeah, I literally had to bring him in with me by my computer earlier so he could just sit on the back of my chair. And he's perfectly happy just sitting there. Huh. Looks out the window for a little bit. As long as he's right next to somebody, he's happy. 
He doesn't care that we have things to do. Uh, nope. <laughs> You're just a spoiled little boy. Yeah, you are. Are you spoiled? Yeah, there's some more down here. Do you want that? All right. There you go. That yummy. I guess a peanut treat. Yeah. I don't know what you were eating out there in that bowl. Huh. Are you eating some seeds and stuff? Did you eat your breakfast today? My husband got him some of uh, the black cherries. Oh, they love those. Huh. Something different. Because your favorite's pomegranates, but that's kind of, they're kind of disappearing now. Hard to find. Yeah. But you had some black cherries and some broccoli and peppers and what else did you have? Snap peas and strawberry and apple. Yeah. Did you eat your breakfast? They all love it when we get they get their breakfast every morning, huh? I mean they don't eat a lot of it, but you know they get some good stuff out of there. Don't you? Yeah. What's your favorite? I know you like the blackberries. I ordered some more blackberries for you, so that's it. I think you got all your peanut gone here, sir. The little teeny weeny piece. Most of it's down here in peanut dust. Yeah. Did you do a good job on that? I know. I will be so happy for a nice sunny day, huh? Because we don't like this weather. These guys are all crabby. I know it's still gone. You're not getting any more today. Sorry. That's enough peanut for you, sir. Yeah. You don't want to get fat, do you, P? <laughs> He's like, I really don't care. Yeah. Now you gotta clean your beak. You got your own little toothpicks there, at least. Clean that beak out. There you go. Look at that. Nice and shiny. Nice and shiny. Clean your beak. Clean your beak. Huh, you crazy boy? Yeah, he's such a little brat. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You little stinker. Yeah, look like at puff up them cheeks. Look at the puffy cheeks. Uh, show everybody your puffy cheeks. Show everybody your puffy cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> he's so funny. Are you gonna be a good boy for the rest of the day? Hmm. Are ya? I hope so. I hope so. Alright, well we're gonna let everybody go here because I think he's ready to go today. No? Well, what are you doing? Look at that nail again. I just cut your nail, sir. How do you do it? Oh, my husband must be back from walking the dog. Huh, yeah. The weather's been so yucky that he hasn't gone in a few days, so he just sits and pouts, so it's not raining right now, so he got to go for a walk. Huh, yes, our German Shepherd. He pouts, he loves his walks. All right, guys, we're gonna let you guys go. I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend, and we will see you guys all next time. Have a great day, everyone. Say bye-bye,